previously on 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Just quit treating me like a child. You're not my mom. I hope. <laughs> Please, don't be my mom. And now back to. What the f is this? The f was that? The f are you? Goopy! Back with some more 30 Sentinels Aegis Rim. When we last left off, we started on Goto's journey. Only to get fucking blue balled by this freaking game! God damn it! Look at this bullshit. Look at this fucking bullshit here. Where are you at, Goto? There you are. What the look at this shit! I can get through your prologue, and then the game's like, nah, okay, you've had enough. You've had enough. What are you doing, huh? What do you think you're doing, stupid? Huh? What? You think it's a game? This is a fucking game? You're gonna see Goto's fuck badass journey? No, no, you were not. Until you completed 80% of 12 other people. And by the way, there's only 12 other people in the game. God damn it. Fuck you, game. I was so excited to finally unlock him. <laughs> I've only got two. Oh, sadness. But it was sick. It was sick. And now we at least got, we just still get a few pieces there, right? We got to see who Goto's original self seemingly was and what his significance is right why would they pick this guy to be somebody to help him for or help to see Ida and Murimura right why is he the one that's in the know for everything it seems specifically because he was the guy the head of Shikishima Industries I guess you know, like, I'm like already yoked this guy up before he turns evil maybe I, I, I don't know how the hell this time travel shit works or not time travel shit we see that Chihiro baby Chihiro is uh basically has is a clone of Murimura and she has her memory has had her memory stored away in her for just such an emergency because it seems like this uh, Morimura, the nurse one, has potentially been compromised. At least Goto seems to think so. What does that mean? Does that mean this just, this nurse Morimura has not been the same one, right? That we've been seeing, like not. I mean, has is the whole time we've seen Nurse Morimura has it always been evil, evil Morimura? Maybe. And like motorcycle chick one is. Well, I don't know. It's it, it's hard to tell who's good and evil in this. I do think in the end that the idea is. Maybe ne isn't necessarily good and evil, but simply we believe we're doing the right thing. No, we believe we're doing the right thing, right? Of how to how to save humanity or to keep us alive. Because Juro was a seemingly was seemingly killing the students, right? Because he believed that by killing them, he would stop them from calling the kaiju, right? Uh, but clearly it didn't work. And also Shu was still alive. So I, I imagine whatever he's trying to do, what he's trying to accomplish is in that same regard unless he's just completely like been like fuck humanity now because he's so jaded from being screwed over i don't know still a lot of missing pieces we uh, have yet to get and also yakushiji we to see that her actually signing her contract with uh fluffy and shishaki Saragi, which you guys did point out was actually something that was brought up in the beginning of the game in one of the earlier battles where yakushiji was apologizing to kisaragi and kisaragi was like it's all right, but why'd you have to shoot me in the back? <laughs> it's you have any idea how hard it is to get the start to, to activate my activate my sentinel when my start button's on my back? <laughs> Man, it's like there's so many different people getting shot right by this freaking gun. Seemingly, it's really hard to tell exactly where the origin for some of this shit is, right? Oh, it, the thing with Murray Murray, by the way, or not Murray Murray, um, Miura, uh, the scar on his head. The reason why he has a scar in his head as opposed to everyone else is the fact that. He got his nanomachines put him in, put into him in the 1940s, right? So they basically had to surgically put them in there uh, or the device or whatever to call his sentinel. That's why he's got this nasty scar, unlike everybody else. It's actually likely the reason too, why she had to shoot him in the forehead, right? Because that's where his device is. I don't know if you know if it's nanomachines, it's just a device is in his forehead as opposed to everybody else, which is na nano machine son. So you can shoot them anywhere. So I think that's kind of the idea behind it. Also, the other thing I kind of forgot was that um, Mira and Shu uh, hung out a lot. It wasn't just that Ninji knocked the shit out of him. It was actually immediately after that he got taken to Shu's apartment and stayed there for a while. So they had a lot of time together, which I don't know, maybe just how long they were together affected uh, Shu like calling his his Sentinel maybe I, I i don't know i see okay but yeah it's like hard to know exactly what every time someone's getting shot what is it doing to them right because neji's been sh already shot like 
two, maybe even three times. I do believe a lot of this is stuff that's like, there are players that have been here since the start, and then there are players that have been here or, or come into this story along the way that were originated from this situation we've been put in, right? There may not necessarily be a future version of them. Future past version, a 2188 version. Maybe, I don't know. It, it could be that literally every one of these characters is going to have a 2188 version, but uh, we shall see. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Bruno Lopez said, now that the gang is complete, play 13 Sentinels. We have Juro, a new friend I found, and it's me, <laughs> Iori. <laughs> He's Squidward. He's Squidward. I'm Squidward. Hey, Amnesiac Murder Mystery. Kisaragi, Sassiness with Survivor's Guilt. Nenji, Knucklehead in a Time Loop. What could go wrong? Megumi, the cat, the cat told me to do it. Mira, I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore. Natsuno, Wally, phone home. Takatoshi, the guy that's still in the closet. <laughs> Yuki, badass on a mission. Shu, the TV seat for Poltergeist. Ryoko, hangover as a character. Goto, took you long enough. <laughs> this, these are all perfect, except for what? I feel like Goto should have been took you long enough. Okay, bye. <laughs> and I'm gone again. Ah, uh, Bruno, this was perfect. Absolutely encompasses the full 13 Sentinels experience. So thank you for your hilarious comment. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. Oh, all right, guys. So I think I've thought about it. And I think what I want to do today is I actually want to check out the remainder of shoes. So in order to do that, I have to uh, finish off the last of destruction. I actually almost wonder if every character is going to have like, in order to see their final scene, you're going to have to complete like some part of uh, destruction. I'm starting to think that is the case because it was like that with Ninji too, which almost makes me wonder if maybe the scene that you get at the end of like area five or bat or whatever, like Ninji's was this one. Maybe at the end of this one, like there'll be some scene re involving Shu. Although I thought that the scene that with that happened with Nenji, I, I think I actually might re have remembered it happening, where that like Miura, Nenji, and Kisaragi like hopped out of their. S well, no, Miura was fighting. Uh, or was it Yakashiji? I don't know. They all like hopped out of their shit. And they're like, oh, we're gonna go do something. I do think it's actually something that is brought up in between fights. But I thought that happened earlier, not actually in Battle Five. But I don't know. I'll, I'll just be curious to see here. Um. Oh wait, wait, wait. Amaguchi has to be on the strike team. Did Nenji have to be on this one? No? <laughs> I'm not misremembering, am I? I was pretty sure it was... Nenji's was this one. I'm gonna go, she did have to be in this one, though. Um, okay, he needs to be on the strike team. I got this. I got this. Uh, clear, without a sentinel being immobilized, maintain a terminal defense rate of 7% or higher. Okay. Um, enhanced long-range twin-tail kaiju will appear. What the hell? Meteor? S rank rewards, Mr. File Meteor, and bonus Seaside Vacation Song. Meteor? We're gonna learn the backstory of all this is that Sephiroth summoned Meteor, and the only way to save humanity was Project Arc. Uh, okay. So long range ones. Means we're definitely gonna want some long range dudes too. Let's put A in because he's the only one that hasn't had a, uh, his level 25 skill in that group. Uh, Juro, I'll keep you in here. Kisaragi, get you your level 25. Yuki, uh, and I think everybody else has theirs now. All right, let's give it a try. It's supposed to be a boss one too, though. Does it really seem kind of small? I have something to report to you all. Uh, finally, is this processing stuff done yet? It's well over 90% processed. We're so close. She's getting so slow, though. There's a problem. It's fucking download speeds. Some of you may know. I'm working from the command ship in orbit. Unfortunately, okay. it's still on that orbital path. Command ship. Soon I'll be too far from your location. I'll lose signal. And I won't be able to communicate. What the fuck? And when that happens, the mainframe processing will be suspended. Oh, that's good. It'll be another eight. Establish a connection. You have to hold on. But that's just over 14 hours. We have to hold out until tomorrow afternoon? Fuck. Please don't give up hope. Until I get cut off, I promise I'll do everything I can. <sighs> this is insane. Have you seen how fast new ones keep appearing? There's no way we can fend them off for that long. <sighs> Say... As long as you're still here, maybe you could sing for us? Yeah, sing me a song! All right. As long as you're still here, 
long as you can hear my voice, you'll know I'm still connected. Oh. Oh! Is she gonna be the background song for this one? That's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> That's actually an amazing setup. Holy shit. Gold one? To win this battle, you must destroy the Twin Tail X. Just that one right there? Since the Twin Tail X attacks with thermal missiles, they can melt even a Sentinel's armor. It's best to intercept or dodge their attacks. Uh oh. Just wow. Oh god, this guy's gotta be really tough then. Oh my god, it is. Kazuni! That's so cool, man. Ooh, pretty. It is. It's actually a really small battlefield, but it's long, right? You gotta basically make your way over here. Damn. Girl, got some pipes. <laughs> that's cool. And at the end of the fight, right, we're gonna her singing will stop. And that's when we know we lost her. Damn man, this game is something else. Okay, uh so I just gotta get the fuck over there, right? Fuck these guys. I'm going in. I mean, I'll just get Shu off this thing on his motorcycle and just drive the fuck over here. And hopefully not get stepped on. Damn it. The only... I was like, maybe if I had a shield guy, I don't. I mean, I have... Shu has a shield, but it's only for anyone in a target area. I mean, can I even reach this guy? No, he's super far away. Even for my big gunner guy. Big gunners. Oh, wait, wait. I can't do it. Uh, fuck you, dude. Ah. Did it do anything? Do a little bit of damage. Better put on a show for you, Kichab. Better put some fucking sentry guns down. You can get you in here. All right, we're going to... Let's go zigzag here, all right? Hopefully, this guy can't attack multiple dudes at once. Oh, that's good. I got to get rid of these shield guys as well. Uh, probably don't want to do limiter removal, because... So I see what this guy can do. Don't let up. I mean, I make him fast, but How's the uh, fuck! He doesn't have tackle. That would've been really good for this, actually. Actually, shit. Now I think about it, he didn't have anything. I didn't give any of his leaping moves, which means he's gonna be stuck on these guys. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to do shit. So I'm gonna bother. It's really gonna be up to my air guys to to get over there. All right, I'm just gonna lay waste to these dudes if I can. All right, here we go. Uh, there come the missiles. Hope I can pull my way. Better put on a show. You're that show guy. Kill this guy. Oh god. This is actually a, a fight where fight we're having the uh anti-air move would be really good. Not this one though. <laughs> the other one that I do not have equipped on anybody, because most of the time it hasn't been super great. Oh god. Oh god! Kick him! Kick the fuck out of her. Um. Uh, still alive. Stay calm. Gonna die. It's actually where we're having the tackle move would be really useful. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody get a uh, shield. Uh, barrier. Kick. Still alive. Are you kidding me? Fuck you, dude. Time to die. Nice. Boom. Confirm termination of Twin Tail EX Dymo signature. Hopefully, I don't summon a new one. Ah, get out of here. Aegis activated. Terminal 
Oh, that was too bad. And the singing stopped. But you losers lighten up already. Everyone's acting like we already lost this. Um, she's right. This fight isn't over yet. If we do our best, I know we can pull through. 14 hours, though? <laughs> That's nuts. Never had a brawl that lasted all night. Well, we might be about to set a new record. Here he is. Interesting. I wonder if that's what the next area is going to be. It's just surviving until she comes back. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Just as long as you got over there quickly enough, right? And that's what really the flying dudes are for. All right. Uh, Jurokarabe, Restored Memories. Tomiki Suragi for my parents. Yuki Takamiya. Too, too slow, buddy. Ace Gahara saw that coming. All right, I think I've got everyone to level 25 now, at least. Which just leaves their level 30 skills. That is definitely an S-rank, baby. Meteor. Be interested what that's about. Boom, boom, boom. Seaside Vacation Song. That's probably the song we just listened to. It was pretty. A new area has been unlocked. What? Oh my God. Complete Juro Karabe's Juro Karabe event. <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> Complete Juro Karabe, Juro Karabe. I have a feeling that might be his last one, actually. Just because it, I, I think it's going to be a point at the end where he just like, because we saw at the very beginning, right? He's like, I'm not Juro Izumi, I'm Juro Karabe. He's going to be a point where he's like, I'm not this guy anymore, right? Fuck this evil, potentially evil douchebag. No, I'm my own man now. I'm Juro Karabe. Or I, th I think it's probably going to be like the last event he has. All right, let's have a look at uh, everybody's new skills here. Oh, wait, I didn't get, I didn't get shoes. Are you serious? Oh, I didn't get shoes. Never mind. Almost got everybody's. Uh, too slow, buddy. Back attack power multiplies against attacking Kaiju. Oh, sick. That's actually really good. It actually would have worked on the guys that were shooting missiles at me. For my parents, attack increases proportional to damage done to the city. Okay, but again, like, you don't really want damage done to the city. Restored memories. <laughs> what? <laughs> Restored memories just increases all stats. That's no, no stipulation. It just gets more stats. Sick. <laughs> he remembers who he was. He remembers being a fucking legend. That's cool. That is kind of cool, though. That he would just get something like that. It's like, yeah, just because, I mean, technically, it's Jura Izumi, right? He survived in that fucking uh, infected Sentinel for, like, hours. Saw that coming. High chance to dodge close quarter attacks. Ooh, really? High chance. Uh, sick. That is interesting, though, because I kind of figured Jura might be one of the last ones they want you to do. Like, he'd be, like, one of the first ones you start with, and then one of the last ones. It's sort of, sort of poetic, right? Wow, 71% of the way through uh, destruction. I don't know, maybe there are only like four areas in the game then. So that is a big chunk. Okay, what we got? Uh, meteor. When the kaiju come down, they descend in a plume of atmospheric fire like meteor meteorites. However, they have a slow falling speed compared to meteors and an observer can easily see them slowing down before they hit the surface. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, and then Seaside Vacation Song. Damn, look at you, Inaba. Looking good, girl. Pretty art. The debut song of the new idol, uh, Miki Inaba. The single was pulled from her a de debut album, M Control, or M Control, I, I don't know. And sold as a flexi disc. With a successful low price sales strategy, the song sold like hotcakes and gained tremendous support from middle schoolers and high schoolers. Well, all right. I believe that should unlock. Not you. I wish. Uh, shoo. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I think this should be his last one then. That's like the song's playing in the back there. Okay, so maybe we'll see what happened with Tetsuya Ida as well then, right? After the, the Kisaragi droid got taken over. That's what I'm also really curious to see. Because I feel like 426 might kill him, but he puts his body into somebody else or some or, or like another android or something. Uh, Shu Amaguchi was shifted into Sentinel that appeared out of nowhere and ended up in outer space. When Amaguchi returned to the surface, Tetsuya Ida pressed him to cooperate. So we're we starting a new day again? Yep. Cool.
I'll actually be curious to see if his event is uh, tied into what we just saw with Miki Inaba having to go dark for a while, you know? Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. So she was watching me this whole time? Oh, yeah. Half of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her. I love you, girl! Keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. <laughs> yeah. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some Secret Service government spy? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. <laughs> oh my god. I love her. I love you so much. <laughs> I am absolutely convinced he's just Sylvain's long lost son, okay? Or at the very least, a kindred spirit. You're my only hope! I'm here now. He's going to try to have me eliminated. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean eliminated? There's so much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. Join the club. I know. But I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Mm. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. Yeah. He wants to reset it. What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. And a reset means you would be erased too. You're talking about Kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The Sentinels were built to fight those Kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There's a supercomputer hidden below your town. The UFO? We call it Universal Control. Ah. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier. Possibly to make you easier to manage. Truman Show! Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. Hmm. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. <gasps> yes! You and I have met many times in your dreams. Well, you're... Miyuki and Abba, right? Yes. And no. Miyuki and Abba is a disguise. You should know what my real name is. Please give it some more thought. Yeah, it's you. Oh, that song from my dream. You don't mean you're. You finally realized. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart. Just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me. But a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore. Just data on a computer. Yeah. But that's exactly how I can still help you. I knew it. I knew it was you, girl. In my dream. 
she's been reaching out to me. Using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. Damn, this music, man. Oh no. He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel inside. Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! She's gone. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I gotta do it! I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. I'm gonna stick my manhood on it. Let's fucking go. Where's my body pillow? I need my body pillow. Now there's no time. Come on, shoot. Let's go. Oh. Any sudden moves and I shoot. Oh, well, never mind. Shinonome senpai. Hi, how did you get in my house? The door was locked. How did you get in? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. All right. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So, what do you want with me? I need your sentinel. <laughs> look, at the, look at she's She's like, eh. <laughs> I mean, I know you got a gun pointed at me and you're about to kill me, but hey, girl, what's up? You want to hang out later? <laughs> My sentinel? It here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. <laughs> Senpai, I'm sorry. But I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? Bitch, you wanna die today? I have to go stop Ida. Huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Ooh. She's like, yeah, fuck that guy! <laughs> Uh, we're friends now. <laughs> that tunnel? Yeah. That's where the sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a sentinel damages you. Like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. <laughs> it is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. A girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. I'm not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him. Okay, that's 1985 where we are. Instead. Oh. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. Really? But now he's put the gate into lockdown. Doesn't work for him, huh? That means the Sentinel's the only way to shift in. Or maybe it doesn't work with him anymore because he's got a different body, perhaps. I'm starting to think that is the what what is going on here. It's just up ahead. Interesting. So maybe that is the case. This, what Yakushi's doing is getting rid of their, making it so they're immune to the infection in the Sentinel. That's what the gun is doing. Okay. What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa. Uh Oh, you're not so caught up so yet, are you? I never found out that part. <laughs> it's a long story. 
This doesn't make sense. We need to swap lore, you and I. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. So maybe that's what's happening. Yakushiji is tasked with giving everybody immunity to uh, the Sentinel infection. So that's why she can control it. M m maybe, I don't fucking know anymore. But they always had the capability of piloting the Sentinels. So uh, I don't know, man. I'm just so confused. I want to know what these fucking gunshots are doing. All right, let's go. Oh, there it is. Found it. It's really here. How the fuck am I going to get it out of here? I saw at the park. Bit of a tight squeeze. Yuki and Abba hit it here. Did she like remotely pilot it? So now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know. It just kind of happened. He got shot in the face. Uh, I think his is on his neck or his ear. Activation switch. You should have one somewhere on your body. Yeah. A switch? Where nano machines were shot into you. Yeah. Here we That's go. Where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. Finally, we're actually finally getting someone to talk about it, right? Because up to this point, everyone's just been kind of like, like, I got this shit, start button, let's go. I think she got me right around here. My ear. Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. <laughs> I'd be really awkward if I <laughs> scratched my ear one day and this is like, <laughs> boo. So I just swipe it like this. Oh shit, here we go. Oh yeah. Right in my ear hole. Blah! Activate close removal mode. So yeah, that but definitely worked. So big, well, this cockpit looks like a single seater. <laughs> if it shares design elements from number 14, there should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. From there, I could set the shift destination. Ah. Okay, let me look. <laughs> it's a manual for this thing. Uh I found it. I think. Where is it? In the back. This one's for you, you can Sector Fleet 3, flying over the underground facility. Here. It's like a world after an apocalypse. That's Sakura High. It looks a lot like where we live. No, it's in ruins. But that is our city. Oh no, Sector 3 is, um... We were in Sector 4. Yeah, that was Sector Are 4. So that's uh, okay. so uh 2025. One enclosure. It's down there. The bottom of that hole is the terminal. Oh. Looks like we'll fit right through. I guess we're going down. Interesting. So is this where Tetsuya Ida is? Oh. Uh, definitely looks that way. Any closer and I shoot her. So, found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel. I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya Kun over you. God, you're so jelly. These emotional impulses of yours <laughs> really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> Miyuki Inaba needs my help. I have to stop Ida somehow. Or else, he's going to erase her. 
It doesn't matter. I don't care what group Yuki-chan's wrapped up in. I'm going to save her. I'm gonna save you, girl. I get it. So it is you, after all. You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Ah. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then, you're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. Ah, fuck! Hey, wait a sec. I'm almost finished here. Just stay quiet for a moment more. Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go! I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel. Which means authorization has been restored to you. Oh, interesting. Oh, Miyuki Anaba said something about this. She said she knew me through my ID. Probably because he's the one she was trying to track. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. I got you, girl. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah. I love her. I love her, girl. <laughs> I love you, girl. He's like, no, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be with Tomi. Damn it. Now Nenji's dating Tomi? This is all wrong. You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. Well. <sighs> Miyuki. Inaba. Ida-kun. So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Ida-kun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? <sighs> Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. Uh oh! But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. Ryoka doesn't like that. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. Huh. That's impossible. Wait, Edekun. I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer. And I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. No! Let her finish! Four shut down Sentinel number 16. Don't! You know the... Is 16 the one that was missing? Uh. Hold on. 
No, that's Tomy's Sentinel. Yeah. So I guess that means her AI is communicating through Tomy's Sentinel specifically. I guess that makes sense since she is also Tomy Kisaragi. No, A Team was the one that was mysteriously missing. We actually got we talked about that. Who whose was it again? God damn it! Somebody had 18. We brought that up. Was it me? Oh, was it originally Miura's? Miura ends up in 19 though. Fuck, I don't know. Sorry, it's so many, so many moving parts of this game. It's hard to keep track of everything. Bastard. She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome kun Come on. Come on! You know you need me. Hey, really? Seriously? That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. Kill him, Ryoko! I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Mm. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me. I'd never use a girl as some tool. Ah, oh, get fucked. Little shit. Stop right there. Oh! Don't move. Damn it. Die, Felix Bodyguard. Hurry. Right. He's like, ow, my fucking face. Ah. Hey, girl, what's up? <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm going to check over here real quick. All right. You hurt Yuki-chan? I'm Gucci. Uh, he fucking bitch slapped me. Uh-oh. Shinonome. Uh, you can be such an inconvenience. Mine. Speaking of. Ah, fuck. How many times am I going to get shot? Takamiya-kun, I suggest you come quietly. Or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch. Yuki-chan, don't risk it. <sighs> if we could hurry this up... On it, sir. What? Okay, where do they go? They vanished. Did they shift? Yuki. Ooh. A few hours later. So this goes there. No idea what I'm doing. Okay, nice. <laughs> so that's all set. Are we friends now, guys? Do this. <laughs> you need to take this seriously. I'm trying, dude. Do I look like a fucking scientist to you? I'm just some dude, bro. I can't even figure out how to work this fucking Android phone of mine, dude. What do we expect? Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. I really hope these uh, androids don't like wake up and fucking murder us. Man, I think about. I gotta think about Yuki. That's gonna help calm me down. Yuki Chan, I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her. No matter what it takes. Damn, it's just getting crazy. I almost wonder if we'll see this this scene from like the perspective of either Ryoko or Yuki, you know? Maybe not Ryoko, because Ryoko kinda I mean we're, we're, she was with us most of the time. Maybe Yuki then, you know? Listen, dude, uh like seriously, any idea? It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. Yeah. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. <laughs> I mean, I graduated high school. Really, dude? Shut up, all right? Qualifications for this job are not as steep as you might think. Maybe this robot would help. Hey, dude, what's up? You want to help out your broski's shoe? I'm a Gucci? Bro? 
Oh, robot gets up. Hey, what's up? It's your dad, Sylvain. What? Dad, you're a robot? Yeah, son, I'm back from the demon dead. I'm here to help you and save you. Yeah, dad, you just get it. Yeah, son, you just get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> one, of the, one of the bodyguards pulls out his gun and shoots the robot. Dad, no. Why? Sorry, you two were just bugging the fuck out of me. I'm not having that shit happen. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing, but I'd have no idea how to get us home. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here, deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. <laughs> Sound about right? Yeah. We are surprisingly not in the know at all, despite how we might look. Come on, out of the way. All right, just gonna just smash keyboard. This is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> Where'd the console go? Uh-oh. Did it work? No. It just started moving by itself. Uh? Oh! Hi guys! <laughs> Ami Gucci kun She got a bandit on her face. Men in black. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> to the final battle. What? It just ends there? There's no like mid-fight like cutscene or anything? What? Okay, so it doesn't actually play exactly the same for everybody like all right we're gonna get to the end and now we're gonna hop into some random scene in the final battle that didn't happen this time damn wow okay i'm guessing this will probably continue from both minamis and also maybe uh uh yuki's so that little beeping sound means you're complete right yeah damn wow shoes really ends on a fucking cliffhanger Upon hearing Miyuki Inaba's SOS, Shiomaguchi made his way to Sector 3 with Yoko Shinome. The rescue mission resulted in a failure, and Amaguchi was left behind under behind until Nasuno Manami showed up. The funny thing is, though, about about uh, Manami was that she didn't have a bandaid on her face. I don't think even after she got... Well, actually, I don't know. Have, have I not seen after this? I feel like I've seen other scenes from other perspectives after the exterminator event. Where, and she didn't have a bandaid on. I think. Well, actually, I can check that, can't I? Whoops. Okay, let's, let's check the updates here. Uh, Shu Amaguchi! Amaguchi, who's genetically identical to Ida, was having I Ida's memories from between ages 16 and 26 transplanted into him by Murimura. Really? It was Murimura doing it. Moreover, Ida brought the infant Amaguchi to Sector 4, the 1980s, and placed him into the Amaguchi family. So his clone, basically. Interesting, we did not actually end up seeing how Ida got into the body he's in. I think that's the, what they're trying to say is he doesn't have any more the uh, uh, the compatibility that he did in his old body. I think his old body might have gotten destroyed or killed by uh, potentially Kisaragi Android, uh, who was controlled by 426. Yeah, there. Records also say that there was a 20% transplant rate. So he's just been getting Ida's memories. For what purpose, though? Just to to get everything under understood? I don't know. Tetsuya Ida. He is genetically identical to Shu Amaguchi. Is he though? As he is now? Miyuki Inaba, the grown up version of Tomiki Suragi from another world. Back when she used to stream songs on the internet, Tetsuya Ida was regular in her chat, going by F8. His support and encouragement pushed her to get serious about her singing. In order to evade universal control surveillance, she sang on an unmonitored broadcast and managed to connect with Shu Amaguchi through his TV. Ah. She had Ida install her into Sentinel number 16 as, an, as its AI. Mmm, okay, okay. But it's like, she's saying Sentinel-16 is like floating in orbit. No, she's saying she's on the command ship, wherever the fuck that is. 
And that's floating in orbit somewhere. Uh, Sentinel. Uh, similar to a shifter gate, the Sentinel is capable of traveling between sectors. It has a mainframe hatch like the Type 98 bipeds, where one can shift the destination. The pilot must confirm the shift in order for it to happen. The Sentinel pilots have an activation switch that's used to activate the Sentinel. Typically, the activation switch would be where the nanomachines were injected, but if additional codes have been implemented later, then that would be the new spot for the switch. Oh, there you go. There we go. Swiping across the activation switch causes the letters start to appear and activates the register sentinel. There we go. Okay. Okay. That makes a bit more sense. Because some of them, like, I was like, didn't they already have nanomachines in them, right? So why is it like, well, suddenly I just happened to shoot you in this one spot and that's where the start button is. That makes me think, oh, it has, like, that's, they didn't have nanomachines. But we definitely knew Ninji did, right? I mean, I guess technically, but no, he was shot in the chest, right? That's why I was like, why wouldn't his start button be in the chest if that was when he was first shot? It replaces it. Wherever you get shot, shot in the new place, that's where your start button's gonna be. If you get code, new code added to it. Okay, okay, cool. That makes a lot more sense. Still doesn't answer exactly what Yakashiji's been doing, except for maybe, like I was thinking, maybe she's he, he's making them immune to the uh, infection in each sentinel. Okay, when does all this stuff with freaking Tetsu Ida happen? Pretty far into it. <laughs> Ida versus Samaguchi. Okay, then a few hours later is... Wait, wait. Oh, it didn't show it. Is it when Romanami shows up or did that happen in that same scene? Oh, it does. It happens as, as Amaguchi and the Black Suits try to find a way out. I thought it'd be a separate event, but it was actually the same one. Okay. Let me look at... Um, uh, Natsuno Minami here. So we got the exterminator. Yeah, right here. But see, even after these scenes, she doesn't have a band-aid on her face. So why does she get a band-aid later? Does she like get shot again in the cheek or does she have like somebody like cut open her cheek to like mess with her nano machines or something? I kind of thought she would have just put a band-aid over the th where she got shot, but maybe not. Yeah, so the, the holder of the key Counting is soon idea she shows up for like two seconds. Wait, ah, uh, it doesn't show the one where she shows up for uh, Shiomaguchi. It doesn't actually show up on here, despite her being in that scene. Cause she only shows up at the tail end, I guess. Ah, fuck you. I wanna know where the timeline of her thing it, it happens. Yeah, it doesn't include her here, even though she's there. Could they not squeeze that many names on the appearances by? Disappointed. Oh, interesting. Looking at Yuki, Ida versus Amaguchi where she's held by gun, at gunpoint and then gets transported out of there. But she still later shows up to meet with A and give him a message and back later at school. So how the fuck does she get out of this shit? Uh, Ryoko, who's also there. Where does this take place in her shit? Just like Miss, what the hell? This shit happens before this? Just like Mr. Ida? Shimoguchi's there beside her. Once he sees she's all right, he leaves the nurse's office. Wow, but she forgets, she forgets all about it, right? Does he say anything about that event? I don't know if they met up before that, but I'm actually kind of curious. I'm gonna watch this again. You should probably take it easy. At least until the nurse comes back. Th thanks. The nurse's office was left wide open. So I'm sure she'll be back soon. I was saved by Mr. Eda. No, he didn't say anything about it. I thought she ran into him actually on the stairs, right? Like, that's right. When, didn't she like walk around the school and then she started having the head attack? Yeah, like her head started hurting and that's when she ran into him. And then he was like, hey, are you all right? And they took her to the nurse's office. Why wouldn't they, if that, if this had happened after this, why wouldn't he have like said anything about that? I don't remember him saying anything like that, you know? No idea, no fucking idea. Well, I guess that explains why he can finish shoes so early because his ends on a fucking cliffhanger. For that's for sure. It was cool, but damn, I was also hoping to see what happened to Tetsuya Ida in the past, right? We didn't really get that answer there. Uh, oh, okay, guys, right. Complete T Yuki Takami as a conscious criminal. Hmm. This whole investigation of hers, is, is it happening before she's confronted with Ida? Probably is. Uh, Ida versus Samaguchi, way back here. Yep. So it's a very distinct possibility that hers will end with what happened here, right? All right, let's go ahead and continue then with Yuki. See what the hell's going on with her, because she's also, now we do know that uh, her little buddy there, her little weird little Watson is actually 426. The remains from the incident in the girl's bathroom pointed to Tomi Kisaragi as a possible suspect. However, a witness statement raised the possibility of there being two Kisaragis. Huh? 
Juice. There's so many mysteries about what happened in the girls' bathroom. But one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely involved. Gotta look for more clues. But first, drink the hasty again. Ah, it's a demon. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Stay away from me. I can go back to the front gate again, huh? Right before the incident oh, there we go. Girl's bathroom, there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. Maybe we should look around the girl's bathroom again. Oh, didn't I tell you? They've started renovating. Oh. Even if we can get inside, there's nothing to see anymore. Well, shit. That was fast. Are you upset with me? Yes. <sighs> Just been answered. Because you're crazy and I know you're a demon. Okay. Um. So I need to get here. Uh, Soccer High front gate. Okay. So I guess I got to mosey on back here then. Just head to the front gate guess then. I'll grab my bag. Oh, I'm yes, yes, yes. Where do I go from here? Just get out of here. Oh. Ah oh, shit. Watch him up. Yo. Yo. Out of my way, punk. Out of my way, bitch. <laughs> You trying to give me orders now? You better get out of my face. I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> you really have crap timing, Aiba. Uh, um... Takamiya-san? Are these people... friends of yours? That's right. And if you're friends with her, that means you have to be friends with me, too. Ooh. Hey! You lay a finger on her, and I'll break all ten of yours. Oh, uh, you think you can threaten me? Bastard. Ah! Does that answer your question? Heavy your way. I owe you a lesson from before. Damn, I got sure it can take a fucking punch. Stay back, Iba. Maybe this time it'll stick. Time to at least 10% of my true power. Get <laughs> fucked. Uh oh. Hey, what's up, Popo? Ah, shit. All right, break it up. What? I'm fine. They didn't do anything to me. <laughs> Shit. Oops. The school called the cops on me. Pretty sure Ida's gonna come in here and be like, what the fuck? God damn it. Hey, buddy. Can I go home now? <laughs> no. Stop damn asking. It. Four Eyes isn't gonna shut up about this. Oh, it's gonna be a real drag if I get suspended from school. It's not my fault that big guy was such a fucking pussy. Quit pacing. Just stay still and stay quiet. Yeah. <sighs> Bye. Hey. Just wondering where the ladies' room is. <sighs> All right. Fine. I'll just stand here with my mouth shut. Back and forth, back and forth. I'll take over from here. It's the chief. Yes, sir. Onishi the ogre. Glad to see you haven't changed, Takamiya. Is this our first time running running into him? I think it might be actually. I think we're into him with Ryoko or somebody else. So what happened to Wajima's lackeys? Most of them got away. The two we caught only have minor injuries. The other guy's dead. Good. I've been worried about you. They took you away and I didn't even know you were transferred. What happened? 
Are you involved with the SIU? Tell me what you know. Sorry, old man. Can't talk about it. <sighs> Half a year ago, there was an incident involving the transport of heavy machinery. It was reported as an accident, and in the middle of all of it was a young lady, Ryoko Shinonome. Oh. I took her into custody. Yeah, that's right, it was. Shinonome. That scene, we did see but that. Just like with you, those men from the SIU took her away by force. Her statement was a curious one, though. She claimed both her and her weapon came from the future to fight against Kaiju. So what? You believed that crap? There was another heavy machinery accident just recently. I saw it there. Just before they covered it up in a tarp. And let me tell you, that thing was no ordinary piece of construction equipment. Something is going on in this town. And I have to find out. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? Uh. Now it's no book. Shinonome and her weapon came from the future, huh? I remember. In Nachan's notebook, she wrote about time travel and a robot that fights. Onishi the ogre may just be another old fart, but he's an old fart I think I can trust. Maybe I should talk to him and have him help me too. I wonder how she knows him. It's because her father is uh, in prison or something. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? So, how much do you already know about the SIU? It seems there's an understanding among the higher-ups, but it's still a mystery for us underlings. As far as I know, they're doing extensive research on Shikishima Industries. I figured as much. Natsuno Minami has been missing since last week. Are the police even looking for her? Natsuno Minami. Huh. The name doesn't sound familiar. She's a first year at Sakura High, and the SIU are looking for her. You'll let me know if you find anything? I'll keep my eyes open. Now, I don't know how much of this is true. But, according to Four Eyes, Shikishima is making nuclear weapons. And there are miners involved. They told me to watch him, which is why they transferred me. Miners? Ryoko Shinonome is at Sakura High, too. Take a look at this. It's a request to limit traffic while transporting heavy machinery. Ah. The thing Shinonome claimed to have arrived in. Oh. Is on its way to Shikishima's new shipbuilding dock as we speak. Interesting. So it is. So these guys are coming in and taking it away, keeping everything hush hush, changing the news, right? Like, oh, what, what happened to the news? It was just a, yeah, just a helicopter crash or something. Nothing related to any of this crazy shenanigans. So if anyone saw it, right, they're just like, oh, well, whatever, gas explosion. I don't know how the fuck they're going to change the people who actually saw a giant robot there maybe they have just like cap the capability of like wiping people's uh memories through universal control or something if i can get there maybe i can finally figure it out what the machine is and what happened to Nachon. where the fuck is this girl i got the train again after hearing what Onishi the Ogre had to say, I had no choice but to get on this train. Shikishima's shipbuilding dock. No idea what shit I'm gonna find there. But the anticipation is twisting my stomach into knots. The shipbuilding dock the robot was moved to. It's on a landfill near the port. A deserted area with nothing but storage. I'll take this train to the last stop. 
and then wait near the facility. I'll have to wait until dark to sneak in. Go Metal Gear style. Oh shit, there's Edgy! Ogata? Hmm? Takamiya. What are you doing here? Obvious, ain't it? I'm going home. But I thought... Don't you live near Nachon's house? Yeah, when we were in elementary school. I live with my grandpa now. Where are you going? Oh, well, uh... To see the ocean? You all right? So where's your minion? <laughs> Decided not to follow you around today? You mean Erica Iba? Iba? You're in class D, right? She's in your class, isn't she? Huh? That's not Iba. Oh. Iba's been absent from school for a while now. Uh oh. The next stop is Akebi. Akebi. Oh. Gotta switch trains at the next stop. I'm gonna take off. See ya. Not Iba? Then who the hell is she? Shit. Who can I even believe anymore? I guess just myself now. Trust nothing I don't see with my own eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna see, the weapon at Shikishima. Busting in. <laughs> Security sure is crap here. Sneaking in was almost too easy. Though, when it's this damn dark, it's hard to see much of anything. Oh boy. Nenji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. If that's true, then who's the person that's been following me this whole time? A fucking and demon. What does she want with me? Huh? Oh. Where's that light coming from? Shoulder. Wait a minute. It's my skin that's lighting up. Boobage. Uh oh. Well, that explains Who's there? it. Wait, I know that voice. Ryoko Shinonome. I don't think we've seen Yuki get shot at any point, right? What are you doing here? I should be the one asking you that. Hey, you... Her leg! Your leg is glowing. What's going on? Our bodies are responding. We are pilots. Pilots? <laughs> we are being called by the 14th Sentinel. Son of a... Son of a bitch. What the hell is that? Fourteenth Sentinel. Is that Shinonomes? Yep, Shinonomes is uh, fourteen. Is this the thing that was being moved through the streets? So hers reacts to it as well. Then we will need it for the upcoming battle. Go, go! And you are one of the people who can pilot it. Yuki Takamiya. You. I remember you from the list. You're Renya Goto. What do you mean, one of? This is my Sentinel. Sentinel? Don't know what question to ask first! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> We're not done talking. <laughs> you're going nowhere. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> the hell? Is that real? You want to find out? No way. Did you sell me out? I don't know what that means. I'm the only one who understands number 14. I will not let you have it. Damn, she's super jelly of it. So this was an ambush? You could say that. So this is the weapon Shikishima made? No, Shikishima did not make this. 
we did. Oh. Who the hell are you guys? From our perspective, this world is nothing but the past. You mean time travel? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Very. The Sentinels themselves are weapons from the future. Interesting. The Sentinels were not made by Shikishima. Interesting. Don't think we knew that. So this is the Sentinel? This is what Nachan was looking for? A robot that can fight aliens? Really? Aliens? Was she planning on fighting some little green spacemen? Well, then what are you trying to do? Save the world from the kaiju. <sighs> Isn't it the same thing? Stay back. Ah! Uh, now what? Get out of my way. Or am I gonna have to beat the crap out of both of you? There will be none of that. After all, you too have a part in this. I don't have Jack Squat to do with this. Your glowing skin suggests otherwise. I don't know what you did to me, but I've had enough. Uh -oh. What did you find? New code has been added several times. How many times did he come into contact with her? Oh. They must be close. You're from the nurse's office. Oh, Iba? I'd like to research you a bit more. 426, yeah. Yuki Takamiya. Uh oh. What are you. Ah, ah fuck. Ah. <laughs> did I get a giggling Iba up there? Shut up, bitch. Okay, we got new, two new files, four updated, and three event archives. So where the fuck does this occur? Right? We didn't see her get shot at any point, did we? I don't think so, no. So a sentinel brought in. Who's that? Who's that? Iba! <laughs> and uh, the pilot's mark. Yeah, I don't know if we ever got a... I mean, there does appear to be a an event right here that we have not seen from Yuki. Although it could also be another version of herself, right? Maybe that we haven't seen. I think at some point we're gonna see everybody get shot though. And I've definitely not gotten to the point where she runs into Ida. But I don't think it would be Yakashiji that would have shot him because Yakashiji's first shit is right down here. And that's after this all happened. So whoever the hell shot her, potentially, uh, was much earlier. And maybe it was 426 themselves? Maybe she doesn't even remember? Or Iba? It says it's already been had a uh, code transferred a, a number of times, right? She does sort of suggest that Iba's been doing shit with her because of her interactions with her, right? Erica Iba. According to Nenji Ogata, who's in the same class as Iba, the girl named Iba has been absent from school for a while now. He also claims that she and the, the person who's been following Takamiya are not the same. Oh, God. What have I done? <laughs> Policeman! This guy, nurse policeman of the Kamazumi Police Station, Community Affairs Division. Thank God. I'm so glad I got his sweet lore. Oh, Manami's notebook. Holy shit. Now, Sinuminami's large notebook that starts off with what follows is an investigative record of important events in or moments in time and space. Uh, investigative record one. I finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial. In summary, whoa, aliens do really do exist. Uh, two, these advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dre dreamed that their technology has such capability an actual gateway to time travel uh, right in Tokisaka Shrine? And three, he says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel number 17. Riding inside of it seems to enable him to fight against aliens. That's the one that ends up being hers, right? But is that also the one that Miura uh, from 2088 was in? Like an AI? Uh, BJ? Yeah. He's the Miura that escaped into a drone before the Sentinel number 17 was shifted from the Kaiju in 2064. Yeah. And that ends up becoming uh, Minami's uh, Sentinel, I believe. Yeah. And Miura ends up getting 19. Uh... Oh, well, I've done the exterminator event. All right. Interesting how the exterminator event is is one that uh, unlocks a lot of different peoples, right? Because it's so significant. That's where you see 426 and a lot of what was happening. So it's not too surprising. Um, Yeah, that was actually not her event needed for Juro either. Yeah, a conscious criminal. And she's going to have to start a new day. All right, in that case, let's keep it going with Yuki. Cool. Cool. Back to the rooftop. I was let go. They're probably still watching me, just waiting to use me. 
Whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Guys, that crazy bitch is gonna come up behind me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get out of there! Oh dear. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> oh boy. Uh, let's go ahead and think about this. The box? Nachon was hiding a box in the locker room. Come to think of it, that projector I hid looks a lot like a box too. Could it be the same one? When did the box get added? I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinanome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. I think they probably, they, they want to do more research on her, right? So I think they knocked her out. It seems like, so it seems like they knocked her out and to do research on her. It's, I find it interesting that Goto is seemingly still working with Murimura despite him suspecting that she's not actually a good guy. That because ha that happened really early on in the timeline, right? So at this point in the story, he's, they definitely have that conversation. So why are they still talking and doing shit? Even though clearly they don't seem to trust each other, right? Like I would say, oh, he's just keeping it on the, you know, on the down low until he knows for certain, but he said it right to her fucking face. He was like, it's like, who the hell are you, right? I guess maybe they came to an understanding or something. He still clearly didn't trust her enough that he would went and got baby Chihiro, right? And unlocked her memories. It's like, what happened? We never saw the conclusion to that scene. It was just like, he just asked that question and then it just ended. Unless she did something to him. That thing I had. I need to take a closer look. But I can't let Aiba know about the SIU. I'll have to go alone. The old school building, okay. Are you upset with me? Yes. Don't you have anything better? That's all Sam. You're in the same class as Ogata, aren't you? Yes. But I doubt he remembers me. I don't leave much of an impression. Mm, can't get away from this crazy bitch. Shut up. Get rid of Iba. Knock her the fuck out. Sorry. I just remembered I had something to do. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. Ah, poopy. Ugh, it smells like mold in here. It's in here. Oh, let's just put the box. Oh, is he really still in here? BJ didn't just like up and leave? Wake up, BJ, you silly booger. It's somehow able to project things. Beep boop. How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? So he just turned off? Hmm, maybe there's a power switch somewhere. Nope, can't find one. Need to poke me in the booty? He just talked to me. I guess you could call this a box. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. <sighs> Yuki Takamiya. Aha. Uh -huh. Good work, Takamiya. Y yeah. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. Yeah, it was, uh, uh yeah. Confidential? Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually. Anyway, good job. Yeah, good job, whatever. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Aseki Gahara. Yeah, I fucking knew it. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. Speaking I don't of, think I'm that bad. <laughs> Boom! I mean, I killed that guy, but you know. Oh, it's you. This is A before he lost his memories, so. Much more in the know than the A that we were currently messing with. Hey, old guy. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Hey, hands off! 
Get away from my box! Right. Do you even know what this is? This guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. Oh! Miura. Do you know who I am? Oh! That's right, because they're buddies, right? They are buddies. He still has his memories, right? So he would remember Mira AI box. And hopefully he remembers him. You got your memory back. Where am I? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left behind. Uh-oh. Did you say Natsuno? Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? That's my daughter! Does that mean you know? You know where Nachan is? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Yuki Takamiya. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. According to my last memory, she is currently marooned in Sector 3. 2025, okay. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. Let's go, Miura. I know a shortcut. Music's getting real. Let's go. Are you coming with us? You bet your ass I am. Let's go, boy! Da -da -da. Tokisaka Shrine. I knew this place was important. Nachan came here too. You don't mean. Are you saying this is Sector 3? What's it doing? Activate the hell? Don't move. Executing shift. Let's see what one of your limbs going back in time or forward in time or whatever the fuck. Blah. Wee. Twenty twenty five. Where are we? Where's Nachon? Where else could she have gone? I can't believe the stuff about time travel was real too. How long has Nachon been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. Man, everyone's getting stranded in this fucking time period, right? Good lord. I wonder if Kisaragi runs into Manami at some point. During her, uh... I hope she hasn't gone someplace dangerous. During her story... Does she run into him at some point? I don't remember. I don't think so. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. <sighs> what? The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels? We need you for this too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? So you've seen one? In Shikishima's facility. They were calling it number 14. That's Ryoko-san's Sentinel. <sighs> He's back. Where's hers, I wonder? Yo, what up, guys? Right on time. I can't find this bitch anywhere, damn it! So, what'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five kilometer range. Uh oh. We may have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Shut your damn mouth! If she is still alive. She's either deep inside a building, or she's moved farther away. Different sector? I will widen my scan range. 
Hmm. Man from the future. That still was not the one to unlock uh, freaking Juro. Damn. Uh, two of our archives. I think it's all pretty self-explanatory. Just comes right after her other ones. Yep. Uh, leading up to a talking cat. Where you go, I'll follow. Yeah, four more events until uh, how about a date with Shu, and they go to the outer wall. Oh, no updates to the mystery files either. Can I still access hers? I can. I can still keep going. Fuck it. Huh? We couldn't find Notchan. What if she's alone? Shivering, scared in that ruined city. I won't give up on her. Oh, we still have multiple days here. The box, old school building, and something else. A city in ruins. And this one's next. Is that what this place is going to look like? Oh, yeah. I can't even imagine. That guy I met inside the old school building. He's on the run from those black suits. Named Sekigahara. He'll be hiding out in one of the old classrooms for a while. Him and Miura. If I want to rescue Nachan, I'm going to need their help. There you are. Ah. Some... We finally found out where Nachan is. She's been left in the ruined future city. I may not be able to get to her yet, but I will save her. So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook, she must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. Hmm. Why are you, why you went by the name BJ? What's BJ even supposed to stand for? Are you upset with me? Or do we already... Did we already actually establish that? Uh, no, I don't think so. God damn it, am I stuck with her again? All right, let's get the shit out of here. God, she's so fucking weird. You're so weird, 426, in this body. This might be new. Give me some more hay seat. You want something? Nothing for me. Thank you. I do not require sustenance. Hmm, I guess I'm something to mix it up and, uh, or I get some more of my sweet hay seat. Fuck it, hay seat. I ain't addicted. Yuki chan. Yeah. Amiguchi. I'm telling you, Destiny sure wants us to be together. Oh, have we? Are we over overlapping with the event? Uh, this again. But I was over there. She wasn't there last time. How's that, Hey C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. What the hell do you want, anyways? How about a date? No thanks. I mean, really. No, this definitely is. How many times is it gonna take for it to stick in that floppy haired head of yours? How about until you go on a date with me? <sighs> I got my bike with me today. So I was thinking. Ooh. A bike? Sounds wonderful. Uh. Mm. Who's this? <laughs> Apparently, she's Watson. Huh? Are you from another country? <laughs> You're funny. Okay, maybe it's not the same scene. Sorry, pretty boy. But I got more important things to do today. We are actually quite busy. Okay. Well, I guess I won't keep you. You're awfully docile today. Just don't want you to hate me. For being too aggressive, you know. Huh. Yuki-chan? Next time's a date for sure. Next time we're gonna go see the outside of the world. Well then, shall we? Yeah. Are we 
we looking for clues in the cafeteria? Nah. I like this music. Let's get the shit out of here. See me later, loser. Oh. Ah! Oh, Takamiya-san. I see you're still wearing the uniform from your last school. Oh. Uh, yeah. You know, if you need help with anything, come and see me anytime. All right? Small note. Morimura gave this note to me. I haven't heard from you in some time. Where have you been? Oh. You need to check back Shit. in with me. Understood? She wants me to do something. And the first step is talking to Aiba. Huh. Okay, she just wanted to talk to Aiba. I haven't seen you in a while. Hmm. She called her Aiba, though, even though that's not actually her real name. Hmm. Suspicious, right? That's not actually Aiba. You think the new the school nurse would know that? Or Murray Murrow, whoever the fuck, right? Are they in cahoots? There's something I want to check on the way home. Come with me? Certainly. Oh, hey, Sumeria Bridge. In 1985, we actually don't think it's seen this before. Where are we going? Pretty. Oh, right. I just wanted to check something. Oh, what is it? Toss her over the fucking edge. So I ditched class this morning. Went to pay someone a visit. Who? Erica Iba, in the hospital. Ugh. The real Iba has been sick, confined to her hospital bed. And I overheard you talking to the school nurse, Morimura. She called you Tamau. Oh, did she actually? Is Tamau your real name? Did, oh, I was reading the note. Did you say Tamau? Uh, well, I guess the jig's up. You're right. My name is Tamau Karabe. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act? It makes for a better detective story, don't you think? You really are good at this, Takamiya-san. You remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? Yes, but why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witnessed that day. And I recently found the second one. Who's there? Ah, oh, Sekigahara. Oh. 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 What are you doing? Yo, check it out. It's Kisaragi! Is that Tomi Kisaragi? It's a machine made to look like her. An android. Oh boy. Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced. Meaning he got away looking like someone else. Who's he? Juro Izumi. Uh -huh. He's a mass murderer. He may be without a body, but I know he's plotting something. Mm. I found this shoved into a broom cupboard. He must have hidden it himself. This place is behind the North School building. The girls' bathroom. The other Tomi Kisaragi. This is the culprit. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Who this guy could have jumped into next? Know what I mean? <laughs> oh boy. So you're saying... A robot destroyed the bathroom? Yes. Hmm. You think anyone will believe that? Oh, I think you will. You heard about these nano machines? I just learned about them myself, actually. 
had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it, but... They said someone close to me altered me somehow. Several times, in fact. Mm. Oh. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Because the only person who always seems to be around me... ...is you. Oh, Takamiya-san. Don't get so worked up. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you have a fucking gun or anything? You're not Erika Aiba. You're not even Tamao Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. A man by the name of Juro Izumi. You think I'm a man? <laughs> Are you okay? Well, this is annoying. <laughs> I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Oh boy. Finally dropping the act, huh? I suppose this time I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Oh fuck. Like hell you will. Look behind you. I got back up this time. Oh god. So this was a trap. Morimura's idea actually. She's actually in her fucking motorcycle suit again. It's like first I see Nurse Morimura hop back into her motorcycle suit. It's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. <laughs> You're insane, Juro. Okay. So it sounds like maybe we just have maybe we will never see it then, right? Her actually her actually getting shot. Maybe it just happened and you know, her memories were erased. But clearly he's been altering her memories as well to to forget that things were happening, right? That code or whatever whatever the hell she's been doing to her. At least I'm more sane than you. I'm trying to save your own ass by derailing the interstellar project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now, but the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives, it's not a sacrifice. They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. The fuck are you talking about? Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why. I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. I have no hesitation as I do so again. Ah! Damn, nice leg there, Jiro. Oh shit, Iba. Stay back. It's not dead yet. Oh fuck. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Alright. Uh. You really are a robot. Just what the hell were you doing to me? Getting you ready. Ready for the game that will soon begin. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with nuisances like you. Cub. <laughs> he jumped. Shit. Jumping from this height in the state he was in. Not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna shot this episode. Fuck. You need to go straight home. We'll look around where he fell. Understood. Aiba. That is an Aiba. That's fucking crazy pants. Oh, there it is. Jiro Karabe unlocked. Hmm. True identity revealed. Uh, okay. I did want to see... So event archives. Where does this take place? 
exactly does it take place before we see Shiba for the first time? Yeah. Keystroke Android found a conscious criminal. Yes, like they both have two different ways of like Murmur is like we we you and I can both get out of here, but the you before you awakened. And before you awakened, I mean, before he woke up as an android? Is that what she's trying to do with, like, Juro Karabe? Is that her doing? Trying to make him back in Jurizumi? And then, like, go from there? I don't fucking know, man. So confused. Okay, where's the first day? There it is. Daily life is strange. It is before that. I think that's what's going to happen here. I think that's what we're going to see with Juro in these events here. So we're going to see Kisaragi, or not, not Kisaragi, uh... Uh, Tamal Karabe android make contact with Juro and put himself inside him. Giggity. And that's what's gonna demon happen. Erika Aiba. 426 took over Tamal Karabe's AI's android body. Immediately after seizing control of the Tamal android, the track team manager finds him in the track room and mistakes him for Erika Aiba, who was interested in joining the track team and the reason why he started to using that name. Right before Aiba jumped off the Sumeri Bridge, she is asked the question, just what the hell were you doing to me by Takamiya? To which she answers, getting you ready, ready for the game that will soon begin. It's like, it's so hard to tell, like, and the game is the fighting the bad guys or something else, like, or fighting the, the kaiju. Like, the problem is I still don't understand what their difference is. It seems like all of us are, all of them are preparing us for this final battle. So where's the disparagement, right? Where is, why is it that Murimura, what is, has a differing ideology than... Izumi here like what is the difference what exactly is he doing that she doesn't want him to do and vice versa the Kisaragi android after being destroyed in the girls bathroom 426 hides the android husk inside the broom closet the broom cupboard of the old school building uh, oh god the Tamao android 426 is cornered by Maria Mura then jumps off Sumeri bridge and she's naked seriously you see like I think you see like part of her like like of her or, like her underwear or something like that in on one leg Freaky Sumeri Bridge. The name of the 193 meter long bridge that's built above Kaede, Kaede River it has a long history built back in 1673 by the feudal lord of the Satsuki clan. It was originally five link arch bridges built on top of layered of some of layered stone piers. Oh shit. I just realized something. I'm going through the numbers here. There's Juro Karabe 001, and then jumps to three, and then jumps to five, seven, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. You guys see what's happening here. I think every everyone here is going to have a 28188 version. The files we're not seeing are the files for their 28, 2188 version, I believe. So we have a Jura Karabe or maybe just Jura Izumi 2188. Oh, shit. Damn. So it isn't like... This wasn't all preordained in some way, right? At least it doesn't seem that way. No, there's definitely, there's definitely a bit more happening. So there's the Tam Erkaiba, Tamau, Tamau, <laughs> Tamau. So many Tamaus. So it does actually seem like there are future versions slash past versions of everybody. Damn, I was actually wondering. Uh, oh shit. Natsuno Manami's a closed world event. Well, looks like we're not finishing hers. That's, that's actually gonna like, I think be her last event. More than likely. Okay, she does not uh, seem, seem to be locked off by a battle like a lot of other people have been. But Juro, on the other hand, that boy's free. I think we're gonna have to save that one for next time, guys. God damn. Ah, ah, this game's pure fucking cocaine in my system. It's just crazy. I must learn the fucking truth. It's like, you feel like you're just like getting, you know, inching your way closer to the shit. And you're like, like, ah, I almost get it. Ah, it's almost there, but not quite. Not quite. But if Amaguchi's story uh, ending is anything to go on, it does sort of show that not every character is going to have like an ending that feels sort of like it's tied up with a nice bow. Like Nenji's, I feel like had a nice sort of ending to it that felt like, all right, this is a definitely the the ending to his story. Shoes was like, like it felt like I was a cliffhanger. Like I could hop right back into it and there'd be some more, but there wasn't. And that was it. <laughs> Probably have to see it with somebody else's route, right? And I wouldn't be surprised if you had to complete his event before you saw whatever that other event was too. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode or are still enjoying this series as much as I am, which is a fucking lot. If you are, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe for not already become a piggy penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.